Inhale, move the leg up the front. Exhale, push yourself over the wrist. Inhale, exhale, push over the wrist. Last one. Beautiful. Lovely. Coming into a seated pose now. We get back with the arms. Inhale. Exhale. Flex the feet slightly and turn yourself. So here is again a thoracic spine extension of rotation. Inhale. Exhale. Stay nice and tall. Extend through fingertips. Keep your line. Yes, yeah? so it's not moving this way. We are extending with the arms. We're keeping the line. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Keep going, guys. We're going to keep going with the rhythm here. Inhale. Exhale. This power pilates, so it does not stop. Inhale. Exhale. Let's do seesaw now. Bending over slightly to the leg. Inhale. Turn your other side. Up. And exhale. Still keep that extension. Inhale. Through the fingertips. The fingertips are pulling you away from each other. Yeah, you have. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. from both sides. We're going to bring the knees to the chest first. So stay on your sitting bone here. Roll backwards. Bring the knees to the chest. This is hard. So bring yourself a little bit lower. Okay. Tuck in your knees. Really make sure that you are tucked. We're not thinking to your shoulders. We're keeping that stretch open. The knees are coming to the chest. We're going to extend the legs here and we're going to start going Exhale and back up. Inhale and turn the other way around. Stability of the core, pelvic floor. A bit of flexibility here. Keep going, guys. Take your time for this one. Okay, so backwards, you will look like this. I'm staying nice and strong. Roll in my shoulders, pull, nice and engage, exhale. So here I am not arching the back when I am calming down. That's the important bit. If you're feeling it in the hips too much, your core is not working hard enough. So if that really is way too hard, just keep the knees bent and just do circles with your knees. Okay? How did you keep going? Stay strong. It's not over yet. The last rip on each side. for a moment while I demonstrate the next one. So we can come from a hip twist now. We should be able to hold our feet to straddle. If you struggle, you can bring into V or into a rolling lacquer ball. Okay. All we're going to do here is nice and open. Stay into flexion of the spine. So C spine for now. We're going to come with as much control. Inhale, 
And as head and back to the we're gonna push back up, up and balance. So let's try. My tip is to draw the shoulders back down. So if you go too far back, don't use momentum. Use the core to lift and to really push against your ankle. Yes, yeah? so when you hold, hold yourself together and keep on. Inhale. This is the pelvic floor that's pulling you up. So, open leg rock and let's keep going. Lift and down. Use your breath, remember? It's not going to happen on every single one. Focus. Stay concentrated to control your movement. Keep going. Be careful if you've got back problem. Maybe you just want to hold on at some point so you can break. Coming here, legs flex, down and feet flexed. Okay, now we've got two options here. Okay, we've got to put the option of a simple roll down. Inhale, and as we exhale, we are going to simply roll. I shouldn't have left my rug under my mat to keep slipping. And holding nice and strong. As we inhale, you can use the arms. And exhale, bring yourself back up. So the feet are still hip width apart here. And come back up. The harder version is called a neck pull. Just be really careful here with your head down. Just pull into your head. You want to do a lean forward into a spine flexion. So round the back and articulate the spine up to the cervical. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, we roll down with control. Inhale, exhale with the head, articulate, and flexion of the spine. Engage your pelvic floor when you arrive in the low back, guys. Remember, this is the hardest. The neck pull is really hard. We're not even supposed to pull through the neck. This is core. This is just because we're removing the element of the arms to help ourselves, yeah? Again, as I was saying, it's power Pilates, guys. So I'm gonna give you the hardest options for this. Inhale, exhale. Keep going. Good. Uh, I know that this is quite hard guys, but keep going and take your time to breathe for this one, okay? We are going really deep into the core, really deep into the spine articulation. Last one, guys. We're gonna slowly bring it down. Good. Taking the feet onto the mat. Slight imprint of your lower back into the mat here. Inhale, exhale, really engage your pelvic floor, pushing the mat down, okay? So, the connection of the spine here is very important. Inhale, exhale, we're gonna start moving into tabletop. Right leg, inhale, exhale, left leg. Beautiful. Okay, 
from here guys keeping your shins parallel to the floor inhale exhale up prep very nice bring the right leg to the chest inhale exhale pull into the navel to spine inhale exhale change side if that one is easy start pushing and pulling knee on the inside ankle on the outside inhale when you change exhale so keep that bullseye in between your legs about your ankle height so ankle ankle draw that leg down inhale exhale keep squeezing that knee If your neck hurts, just change hand. You know, guys, this is not the end. Extend the leg now. Keep going. Shoulders stay down, the scapula stay pulled down, stay stable into your core and into your rib cage. Let's do two more on each side. Last one. Stay up, stay up, stay up. Tabletop. Inhale, we prepare. Exhale, palm into a hollow. Inhale, come back. Inhale, exhale, pull. This is double leg stretch, guys. Inhale, tabletop. Shins parallel, knees over the hips. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Three more. Two more. One more. Bring the knees to the chest. Oh my god. Let's take a break here. This is hardcore, you guys. Oh, the struggle is real. Oh, we take a little break here. We take a little break. Because this is gonna hurt the neck. How are we doing? Power Pilates is hardcore, guys. Week. Next week we'll do the same. And um, we're gonna have, um, we're gonna add some reps and we're gonna make it even harder, okay? So from here, we're getting back into our lying down position. Oh, and my abs are killing me. And bring the hands down to the mat here. Okay, and let's do the roll over. So legs are coming, inhale, exhale with as much control as you can. Lift, bring your feet behind your head if you can. Inhale here, back of the rib cage. Roll down with control. We're gonna bring the legs all the way down, keeping the lower back connected to the floor. Inhale here. Exhale. Inhale here. Yep. Guys, go where you feel it works for you. If you wanna keep the knees bent, and just bring the knees to the chest that's okay too. We are building the core strength here and really ensure that your spine is fine. Yes, yeah, so articulate your spine 
vertebrae by vertebrae here as we exhale. Control, control, control. Okay, keep going. We do one more and we're gonna stay in this position now. <sighs> Trust me, what's about to happen is rough. There, then that's okay. We can do bicycle from here, guys, into leg extension and exhale back, okay? So a bit like a single leg stretch, but we're gonna bring it otherwise. We're gonna do a control balance here. Bring the hands above the head. Inhale, exhale. Up, inhale, exhale. And lift, inhale, exhale. Inhale, make it a bit harder by holding your ankle and reverse the movement, extend the leg as far as you can. Inhale, exhale. But you are not. Inhale, exhale, guys. Ooh, I'm going. Try and do two more. And slowly control back down. Take your time. This is hard. We're gonna get to learn this movement, guys. Yeah, we want to ideally be able to come with the leg. We're gonna we're gonna do some bicycle next week. We're bringing the leg here. Cool, but it's hard. So be prepared. This is why we do this one first. Oh my god. Corkscrew to finish onto the floor. And then we're gonna bring it back to the side. Corkscrew guys is the same thing. We're gonna inhale, exhale, come and twist. So from here, we're gonna twist sideways. And when we come down, inhale, exhale, we are gonna draw. A circle round. Inhale, prepare, and exhale. Twist to the other side. Draw a circle. And up. Draw a circle. You need to come down and draw your circle each time. <sighs> Be mindful of your breath here and of the activation of your obliques and your lower abs. Your pelvic floor, guys, is very important. If you struggle to do these movements, just simply bend the knees and lift and twist. Okay, that's also an option. Let's do two more. And now, and side. And last one on each side, guys. Come on. And release. Oh, really good. Oh my god. Oh, I have to take my breath here. And we're gonna switch to the other side for the leg kick. Okay. Oh, you guys, this is so intense. Be really careful. Coming up into side plank, really use your serratus here. Push, so really draw that shoulder above your wrist, yeah? Shoulder above the wrist here. Inhale, point leg back, exhale, flex to the front. Inhale, exhale, inhale. 
Squeeze your glutes, exhale. Inhale, keep pushing your hip forward. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, keep going. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. Coming here. Up. Preparing for your mermaid. Inhale. Exhale. Let's push all the way up and extend the legs. Keep those hips from not sinking. Inhale down. And engage here. Really bring that shoulder and that elbow to your knee there. Yeah? So we elongate. We restabilize the scapula before we push back up. Squeezing the glutes, keeping your line. Inhale. Open the hip. Squeeze your glute. Exhale. Keeping that line here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Remember you can do this with both knees bent. Inhale. Exhale. Do your last one, guys. Make sure that you look. Inhale. Let's see, I'm squeezing my shoulder blades down. Exhale, I'm pulling and I'm squeezing and I'm lift. Once I arrive up, I give the extra lift here. And down. Wonderful. Wow. Guys, we're gonna finish. We'll come back to the seat. Okay, very nice. Finishing again. We're going to do the same thing as before. We're going to do a round of hip twists again. Open leg rockers, okay? So getting that chest up, pulling up, and exhaling hip twist. So bring yourself as low as comfortably able to hold. Keep your pelvis stable. Your ribcage ducting, remember to breathe from the back of the ribcage. <sighs> Keep going. Using the breath, two more on each side. Last one. Go on. Very good, guys. And another attempt at your open leg. Rocker here. Open. And let's go again. Prepare. Do you feel a bit more stable now that we've done all these exercises on the floor as well? Beautiful. Let's stretch. I know this is like bam bam, run bam, jungle, bam bam. So it's quite intense. So it requires quite a lot of endurance, guys. So we have to like make sure that we keep with the flow. We're going to keep going with the flow like this for the next few weeks. Well, I think as we're here. And I'm going to add some little bits. Remove some little bits. Make it a little bit harder. Make it a little bit harder. 
We're back on, we're back on, guys, we're back on. <sighs> yes, no, that's it. It was in his batteries, guys, and Mike. <laughs> okay, from here, let's take a stretch forward. Stars. Yes. And forward. Good. is real those batteries are like last thing about a couple of days <laughs> and the duracell the microphones and do so many glasses and stuff and we're gonna come into crab so from here hold on to your feet shift it to the front here and bring your crab and push into a rounded spine this is normally a Pilates move, a dynamic. So hold on to your feet. Come up. Roll and round your back. Don't put too much weight on the head. What we do is come back, lift and change. And you open and again. Just push on your chest upwards and belly button to spike guys. Come back. Wonderful. Coming down. Ah. Knees to chest open. Let's just do a twist here. Very important. Always do twists. Size for the spine. Up. Turn the other way around. Roll up. Come back around again and take a mini cobra to stretch your core. Shoulders are away from the ears. We're not thinking, we're not slouching. We're just giving ourselves a nice stretch in the core here. <sighs> so driving that chest. Oh. 
You can practice this move outside as well. Just try and work through the technique and the alignment of the body, especially when we do the sides, when we do the flexion of the spine. Just control through the core. Push back up into a shell stretch. Shell stretch, our hands are on the side, pushing with the back of the hands and rounding the back. Come back, hold the hip flexor stretch, so keep yourself here into a 90 degree angle with the knee, just tucking your tailbone. Good, and maybe lift the arm up as well. Good. So the flow technically should only be about 30 minutes. Squeeze the glute, tailbone in, root cage in alignment with the top of your abdominals. Bring it down. Shake it up here a little bit and articulate your spine. Good. Nice. In. And slowly. Yes, guys, you did great. My core is on fire and the flow was quite strong, I have to admit. It was quite strong, it was a strong flow. Um, I hope 